Thank you very much, Mr. President. Yeah. I just wanted to tell you, I think I can leave here today with all of us in agreement as to what we will wish to recommend to you. Uh, I think we can avoid any recommendations for substantial acceleration or expansion of the bombing program in the north. I think we can all be in agreement that we've got to do more to win in the south. Uh, I think the introduction of U.S. troops that will be involved will be agreed upon by the various parties, and I think Max will go back uh, feeling in good humor. And I'll tell you all this tomorrow, but I just thought you'd be interested today. I sure am. That's wonderful. New York Times got a story that uh, we're out there to plan new strategy and a lot of extra commitments, and sound like Hanson Baldwin wrote it. And Mac Bundy said he just knocked it down, but you know whether they believed it or not, Mac Franco called him about it. But I'm, I'm mighty glad to hear that. Uh, uh, what is their appraisal of the situation there? What do they think about all these statements about the Chinese coming in and so forth? Well, they don't believe that that's likely. They, they want to protect themselves against it if it develops, but they think it is unlikely to develop in the near future the next three to six months. Are they carrying on kind of a, a propaganda campaign now with Fulbright and company, all of them trying to lower their boom on us propaganda-wise? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but none of us feel that the Chinese are likely to come in in the near term. Uh, they are reasonably optimistic that, that over the next three to six months, with additional U.S. combat troops in there, and there's still a little di disagreement as to how many there should be ultimately, but no disagreement as to how many there should be in the next 90 or 120 days. They feel that they can sufficiently stiffen the South Vietnamese and strengthen their forces to show Hanoi that Hanoi cannot win in the South. It won't be that the South Vietnamese can win, but it'll be clear to Hanoi that Hanoi can't win. And this is one of the objectives we're driving for. There is general agreement, we reached it this morning, that it would be unwise any time in the near future, say three to six months, unwise to bomb Hanoi, Haiphong, or any of that area. Do they think, are they pretty encouraged by what's happening in the last few weeks out there in South Vietnam? Well, uh, I would say uh, very encouraged, but it, it's a change from a a sharp downward trend to a bottoming out or a leveling off with the potential for some slight upward movement. Mm. Looks like they killed a good many. They claim they killed a couple hundred today. Yes, last week uh, the BC kill was relatively low, however, although the previous two weeks have been very high. Mm. So the, the signs are favorable, but despite some of these favorable signs there is in the background, this very large Viet Cong buildup over the last several months and the concentration of Viet Cong strength in the center of the country, which could break out at any time and cause serious trouble to us. And they're very much afraid of some uh, catastrophic loss at, at Binh Hoa or Da Nang or one of these areas. And it's protect against that that they now agree there should be some U.S. combat troops introduced. Not very much different from what we last discussed with you. Mm -hmm. In the short run, when I say short run, I mean the next uh, 90 to 120 days. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, there is some disagreement as to how much eventual U.S. troop involvement would be required in South Vietnam. They pretty, uh, feel pretty good about the stability of the government? They feel much better about it, yes. They feel that Quat hasn't been fully tested as yet, but that he's behaving himself very well and g gradually gathering more support. The generals still are a rather unruly group, South Vietnamese generals, but they haven't united enough to cause quite any trouble, and quite very much aware of the potential for trouble there and seeking to hold them down. Are we uh, taking every precaution we ought to take against any unforeseen and uh, catastrophic... Uh... I think so. This is one of the subjects we've discussed at great length today, and to avoid uh, possible catastrophe at Binh Hoa, where we have a huge concentration of equipment and U.S. forces, and also at Da Nang, I think we would all recommend to you, and I will bring this back with me tomorrow, uh, introduction of a brigade at, at Binh Hoa and several additional battalions at enclaves along the coast. This both to protect us against catastrophe and also to 
to relieve some of the South Vietnamese and in addition allow some of our units to participate in counterinsurgency operations. And as a result of all this, show the North Vietnamese that they can't win in the South. It uh, was Max's exercise, his cables indicated. Uh, I don't think so. In any case, by the time we leave today, and I've got about three or four more hours here, I, I'm confident we'll all be in, in harmony again. Okay, Bob, it's wonderful. Glad to talk to you.